Hi there. Welcome, and thanks for choosing Class Creative's Maya and Unreal 3D Character K-Pop Dance Animation Fundamentals. Complete guide from beginners to pros, body mechanics and visual effects basics. In this foundational course, we will be learning the fundamentals of character animation body mechanics where we will cover the following core skill sets. Utilizing reference, finding strong key poses, IKFK switching best practices, working pose to pose, animating various visual effects rigs and effects, creating production ready dance animation quickly and efficiently, and finally graph editor uses for high level polish. We'll be utilizing the latest software packages that top tier gaming studios of today use to create all of your favorite titles. The software packages that we'll be covering are Maya, Epic's Animation Rigging Tools, Art for short, and the Unreal Game Engine. Now the great thing about this course is that we have something in store for everyone. Whether you are just a beginner interested in character animation or a master professional looking to brush up on your current skill set, this course has material you surely won't want to miss. This course features an accredited university level animation instructor who has over 15 years of experience animating both keyframe and motion capture for studios such as Naughty Dog, Gorilla Games, Sucker Punch, Google, Disney, and more. Whether it be a complex hyper-realistic animation or a cartoony stylized Disney character animation, it all starts with the fundamentals, which we cover in these lectures. As with all Class Creatives courses, we've laid out a structure that covers the full spectrum of industry standard character workflows from start to finish. Please remember, if this is your first time creating a 3D animation, we highly recommend that you follow the outline carefully according to how our instructors have structured the course. We wouldn't want you to miss out on any details. However, if you are an advanced user and are looking for something specific to add to your repertoire, feel free to dive in and skip to any sections you'd like to focus on. In the first module, we will be going over the project overview, planning our animation before we set any poses, understanding how to create an idle pose to blend animations, and how to find our extreme poses utilizing the reference video. We will learn the process of utilizing reference to find the root timing to match the dance reference, and how to build the transition from one extreme pose to the next. In the second module, we'll start to animate the core foundation of the dance, finding the timing and rhythm of the dance, and refining poses that make the dance unique. We will be dealing heavily with extreme post-to-pose -pose transitions and timing. For the third module, we will cover the important heart movements that occur in the dance that make it unique. We will continue to refine the animation process and create extreme poses that read well for the character. In the fourth module, we will sculpt our breakdown transition poses so that the movements flow from one pose to the next in a natural motion, staying true to the reference video. In Module 5, we will refine details and prepare for the final dance section and tie up all of the moves to create the full sequence. In Module 6, we will cover the animation polishing process and breakdowns that start to refine the animation as a whole. We will cover how to work with reference video cuts and how to create poses that transition well, the importance of footwork polish, overshoots, shoulder cleanup adjustments, and finally we will animate a heart mesh rig effect based on the body mechanics timing we created in previous modules. In Module 7, we will detail the process of modeling a heart mesh for the visual effects portion of the dance. This will allow for a mesh effect to be generated by the dance move to create visual interest and an asset for the animation to be more three-dimensional. In the 8th module, we will start to rig the heart meshes so that the animator can then animate the effect accurately based on the animation created in the dance. We will go over the best practices and uses to create a rigged prop for animation. In Module 9, we will cover the process of animating the heart rigs and how to retime and animate them based on the animation created by the texture animated rig that was created in Module 6. In the 10th module, we will cover the process of animation polish and how to refine animation at a professional level. In closing, please feel free to take a closer look at the course description outline for a more detailed description of the material covered. We recommend taking this course in conjunction with our Maya and Unreal Engine from Beginners to Pros, complete guide to fast 3D animation and rigging, as we cover how the rig is created and some of the fundamental best practices for animating shots in Maya for games. Enroll today and begin your journey into the exciting creative world of character animation. We look forward to seeing you in class.